Hi, y'all. Thank you for stopping and checking out my video that I'm going to make today. And guys, for the ones that have followed my channel, knows how fond I am of the T-Sauce 1911s. Uh, guys, and I've actually started collecting all of them I can get up my hands on, the different ones. And I've not had a chance to get on the range in a while or to make a video in quite a while. But I'm glad I'm able to today. And during the t this time, I picked up three uh, new tea sauces. Uh, these two here, I will be making future videos and unboxing them, showing you guys what I've got to add to my collection. But what I'm going to start with today will be the tea sauce Yukon. SDS Imports, 1911. It's a C10 Yukon pistol. It's chambered in the 10 millimeter, got a 4.25 inch barrel, gray surcoat frame, and it's got a black slide. And guys, they come, and as we know, if we've seen the, the unboxings and things on these, they come in a nice hard case. They are nice boxes they send them with. We'll open it up, check it out. Guys, it's all of them. Every one of them that I've got comes with this little cleaning kit. Comes with the owner's manual. Comes with the cleaning kit. Comes with the owner's manual. We'll not get into that. All of them that I've got. The three that I, the three new ones that I have purchased will make eight in my collection. They also come with two nice mags. This Yukon does. Most of them comes with Metgar mags. This particular one does not have a name on it. But it looks like a well-made mag. It does come with two. There's one there. There's also one in the firearm. And the uh, pops them right out. Comes right out real nice. Guys, looks like with all of them, it comes with the, the chamber flag, the barrel bushing tool, and it comes with the trigger lock which we're not going to be fooling with that. And guys, to start with, uh, this particular firearm is based off, from my understanding, is based off the T-Sauce Devil Ray. But this one, like I said, is chambered in 10 millimeter. And you can see right there on the side, hopefully get that in there, Yukon. Uh, the frame, guys, is a carbon steel, uh, a carbon steel and it's forged. The frame is a forged metal, forged steel frame. And it's got the bobtail cut. If you guys have seen my channel, I got the T-Saw Stingray. It's also got the, the bobtail cut on the back. And this is made similar to the, the Stingray also. And guys, this one has uh, the uh, Series 70 uh, internals. Uh, the barrel, like I said, when I, in the opening is a four and a quarter cold hammer forged. Uh, guys, and uh, the sights on this are nice. They've got straight line serrations on the back side, which is U-shaped. The front side is a fiber optic sight dovetailed in. And you can get a real nice sight picture, in my opinion, with this little firearm. Hopefully you can see it real good right there, but you can get a nice sight picture. Uh, guys, the, the grips on this, and I really like these grips. They're black and gray sunburst. That's the pattern, the sunburst G10 grips. Do have a thumb cut out right here, which makes it real nice when you get a, a good hold on it. Uh, guys, according to the specs on this, this uh, particular firearm weighs two pounds and four ounces. It does have a nice memory bump on the grip safety, the extended beaver tail. It's got the skeletonized hammer, skeletonized extended trigger. And guys, like I said, it is it is unloaded. There's nothing in it cleared. Uh, it's got a hammer dexterous safety. And this is the most aggressive to me safety on any of the T-Sauce 1911s that I have as of yet. The slide does have serrations on the front and back. Super nice. I mean, 
It's just for the price you pay, it's just all real nice quality. It's got real good fit and finish, smooth, little to no movement in the slide. Uh, the barrel, it does have a lower dejection port and beveled. Guys, uh, like I said, you got a, this rear side is adjustable for windage. There's no up and down, but you do have windage adjustment on it. Let's see, what else can we see? It does have a beveled magwell. And I'll tell you what, I really like this right here. Hopefully we can get, to, get it in on the video, but it does have a nice checkerboard type serrations on the back and on the front strap. Nice serrations. Hopefully y'all can see that pretty good. Guys, it's all just an all around pretty gun. Nice gun. Uh, the slide lock or the takedown pin is recessed, beveled and recessed, which is pretty nice. And guys, I don't know what else I can tell you about it. It does have a nice trigger on it. You got a little bit right there until it walls up. But it's just all around nice trigger. Just a little bit of take up. And then trigger reset. Right there. Just all around nice trigger. And I've got my Willard trigger gauge here, guys. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do get some poundage on it. Got my Willard trigger gauge. Let's see if we can get it on here. And let's see what we got on the poundage on the pull right here. Four pounds, 7.4 ounces. Okay, let's get us another one. Four pounds and 11 ounces. I believe I didn't stop in time with that one, but we'll check her again right here, guys. Four pounds, 8.7 ounces. Real nice trigger on this, guys. You all leave me a comment. If, if any of you has the Yukon, let me tell you, look, tell me your experience in the comments. And guys, check out for future videos right there. Like I said, I've got three new ones. I'm going to be getting them out on the range and unboxing on all three of them. I can't wait to get them out on the range and shoot them, see how good they do. And uh, guys, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed and you want to see the videos on the other two and the range review on this one, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up and share the video. And as with all my other videos that I do, I'd like to say that there is a God in heaven, creator of heaven and earth, that sent his son to die for me and you on a cross, and he shed his blood so we could be forgiven of our sins and have eternal life. And guys, if you want eternal life, and uh, and you, all you got to do is repent, ask God to come in your heart. He'll put his spirit in you, in you, and you can have eternal life. And guys, until the next time, stay two A strong. God bless you, and thank you for watching.